There's nothing like a sunny day at the beach, at least according to women. Over 80% of women prefer the beach over other vacation options, which means that if you hit the beach on a sunny day, you're very likely to be surrounded by women, allowing you the opportunity to potentially spark a connection and meet your future wife. So in today's challenge, we will be going out and meeting women at the beach. Now, in case you're new here, I am on a mission to successfully approach 30 girls over the course of 30 days, and I'm documenting the entire thing on this channel for the entire month of January. So far, we've picked up girls at the grocery store while jogging. We've picked up girls at Hooters. We've had my cameraman go out and pick up a girl himself, and we've even picked up girls at the mall. My goal with this challenge is to inspire you with the confidence to go out and spark connections with the women you encounter in your day-to-day -day life and to make approaching great again. Oh, and also, if I don't successfully approach 30 girls over the course of 30 days, I have to give away $10,000 to a random stranger. Welcome to day 25 of the revolution. Another day, another approach. Finally, a somewhat sunny day. It's still windy. Probably a bad day to film this video. There's not much people here. It's empty, so maybe walking around in circles for an hour or two until we finally get an approach in. But nonetheless, we're in beautiful Miami Beach. It's time to go meet some beautiful Miami Beach babes. Armin, what do you think? You ready? You ready to meet some beach babes? You want to go out and do another approach? <laughs> I don't think I'm ready yet. Why not? You, you did it the other day. First try. It was pretty painful to watch back. <laughs> okay, well, let's go get some non-painful approaches in and see how we do. How many tries do you think it's gonna take for me to get a successful approach? Probably two or three. I think I'll get on my first try. I'm feeling lucky today. Good weather. It's been raining and windy and cloudy for the last week or two in Miami. So the vibes in the universe are on our side today. Excuse me. Hi. Oh, sorry about that, no worries. Have a good day. Excuse me. Hi. Hi. What's your name? What's your? Benjamin. Nice to meet you, Benjamin. Where are you from? I'm trying to guess, but wait, don't say it. Can I get a hint? Is it Europe? Yeah. Eastern Europe? Yeah. Say a sentence, and then maybe I'll guess by the accent. In my language? No, not in your language. <laughs> I'm trying to guess by hearing you speak English. Are you from Poland? No. Ukraine? Close, but no. Uh, how close am I? This close. You're not Russian, are you? I am. Really? Yeah. Okay. You're, you speak very good English. Russians usually have a really thick accent. I know, I had an American ex-boyfriend, so probably in this why. Yeah, your English is very good. You don't have one of those super thick accents. I'm glad. <laughs> I'm happy to hear it. Yeah. yeah. You, don't, you don't look super Russian. I know, that's very <laughs> tricky. <laughs> Are you sure you're Russian? Are you sure you don't have like a... Should I ask my mom? <laughs> you, you, you should, I was going to say, are you sure you have the right dad? <laughs> Because, you know, I feel like more like Latino. Really? I, I like reggaeton music. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, it's funny. I, uh, I spent the summer in, in Eastern Europe uh -huh. and I, all over people really love Latino music yeah. in Eastern Europe. I, I never understood why. It's always so weird to me. It's not weird. It just makes your hips move. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Well, if you like Latino music, you're in the right place. Everyone speaks Spanish here in Miami. Yeah, everyone starts speaking uh, speak Spanish to me, and I'm like, hell no, I don't speak Spanish. <laughs> I'm not Spanish. I'm not Latino. Yeah, they probably assume you are because you you, you kind of look. I didn't. I thought you were going to be South American when I when I approached you, but I heard your accent. Like, there's no way. I I, <laughs> I, I heard the Eastern Europe in your accent. So I'm like, okay. Is it strong? No, it's not strong. I just okay. I know it because. I spent so much time there. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. All over. So, Poland, Kosovo, uh, Montenegro, okay. Albania. Okay. Um, what did you do there? Macedonia. Okay. I went on like a trip. My friend is Macedonian, like he lives in Macedonia. So, we kind of just went on a trip, went through the mountains, hiking all over, explored a little bit, <laughs> ride motorcycles, that sort of thing. That's interesting. How old are you? How old I am? Yeah. How do you think? I don't know, I it's can't tell. 
<laughs> wow, it's so tricky. I think numbers work the same way in Russia than they do here. Ah, oh, okay, so I'm turning 30 in March. No way. Yeah. <laughs> no way. <laughs> I was literally gonna guess like 22. Everyone says so. What the fuck? <laughs> I need your skincare routine then. Yeah, I have good genetics probably. I don't know. Yeah, the yeah. Slavic genetics are quite good. It's whenever you meet a girl and her mom in Eastern Europe, you can't tell if they're sisters yeah, or who, yeah. who's who. Yeah, and that's very true. How old are yeah. you? Can, can you guess? Around my age or so? 37. You're lying. I, have I might have better genetics than you. No way. Yeah. You look so good. No, I'm kidding. Really? <laughs> yeah. I'm 26. Wow. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. I'm impressed too. <laughs> <laughs> what, you thought I was, you're calling me old? No, no. It's nice, yeah. Yeah, it's nice, but... I you to... literally look Latina. It's so funny. <laughs> your, hair, your eyes are dark and your hair, I'm like, okay, maybe she's like naturally blonde or her hair is lighter. No, no, no. I'm actually ethnically mixed, so maybe for this reason I look different. What are you mixed? Ukrainian, Polish. Jewish. So I was a, li a little bit right when I yeah, said you Yeah, but looked... not entirely. Okay, fair. Jewish, um, Turkish. Okay. Probably Gypsy. What's up with, uh, that makes sense too. What's up with like Slavic women loving to date Turkish people, Turkish guys? Because I can tell you that um, Russian guys are emotionalists. Okay. They don't really express their feelings. They don't, I don't know, feel like they don't treat you like a princess or anything like it. Yeah. Do you expect flowers on your first date like most Not Russian really. girls? Flowers suck. <laughs> I prefer money. <laughs> you, I'm really starting to doubt that, that you're Russian. I was going to say, I don't think you're Russian if you don't like flowers on the first date, but then you said I prefer money. I'm like, oh, okay, definitely Russian then. <laughs> I don't really like flowers. That's fair. I mean, I prefer to enjoy the way they look, but... I see, so you're vain. Yeah, you need to take care of them afterwards if I'm too lazy for it, you know? Yeah, <laughs> it's like taking care of a small child, yeah, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Here's this responsibility. Isn't this romantic? <laughs> it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have a cat. I'm a cat mom. Really? So, yeah, I'm kind of responsible for my cat. Well, I'm glad to hear you're responsible. That's a good green flag. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Is, is the cat with you or is it in Russia? In Russia, it would be difficult for me to... Yeah, play. I was going to yeah. say. Yeah. What, do you, what do you have planned for the rest of the day? Not much. Wanted to go to take a shower. Then, I don't know. I don't really have plans. How about you? I'm going to go, I'm supposed to meet a friend for lunch in a little bit. Um, park? No, not yet. You, ha you, nice you have to go. You just, wa you should go at, in like an hour or two. For the sunset? Yeah, if you walk down there. Mm -hmm. Here, I'll show you on the map. Yeah, I was going to go later after I met up with my friend. Maybe I can hit you up, I can text you if you're around yeah, sure. and we can go together. Cool, I'll shoot you a mess. Do you remember my name? Benjamin. Wow, okay, I'm impressed now. I'm impressed. You have a good memory. I didn't think you were gonna remember. Lucky you. <laughs> cool, I'm gonna, I'm gonna head over. Okay. Let's explore the rest of the beach. I'll shoot you a message though, if I free yeah. up around then and then maybe I'll meet you over there. Yeah, sure. Cool. Okay. Very nice to meet you. Benjamin, see ya. <laughs> yeah, see you around. Yeah. One for two, not bad. I told you it'd be two or three tries. You know, I knew you were gonna fucking say something about that. The first one, 
I could have executed a little bit better. I wasn't loud enough. I didn't realize she was on the phone. I knew she had headphones in, but typically the other problem is when you're engaging someone who's sitting down or seated, you don't want to just show up and intrude on their space super aggressively. So you notice in the second interaction that was successful, I opened from a distance, probably about five, six feet. I projected, I said, excuse me, so I could get her attention. And then that's when I went in and I opened the interaction with the other girl. I couldn't really do it as well because she was sitting down listening to music. And as I found out on the phone, so it was really hard to get her attention. So by the time I got her attention, I was already kind of in front of her and closer than ideal. So I could tell she kind of, her immediate response was to kind of retract and get away. And when a girl does that, you're gonna want to respect it and fuck off. Overall, I would say it was a pretty solid interaction. The benefit of doing interactions on the beach is that most of the time people are in leisure, meaning she's sitting down, she's there to relax, and she doesn't really have anything else to do. So that is plenty of time for you to sit down and have what could be a pretty much an insta date. How long was that interaction, Armin? Like 15, 20 minutes? It's like a solid 20 minutes. Yeah, I mean, I just sat down and had a 20 minute interaction, got to know her. We literally just had a first date. So now when I go to text her, to meet up with her potentially a couple hours from now, like I had planned with her just at the end of the interaction there. It's not gonna be our first date. She's not gonna have the stranger danger of it. Is this guy weird? I don't know who he is. Uh, is the vibe gonna be right? No, we'll end up going on what is more likely to feel like a second date rather than a first date. And this is why meeting women in person is so deadly effective and has such a competitive edge over dating apps. Yes, with dating apps, you can swipe through and access many women at once. With approaching, you have to meet them one at a time. There's pros and cons to each, but with in-person, you're more likely to turn those interactions into a date than you are with someone you match with on an app. And the investment that a girl is gonna have into meeting up on the date, she's not gonna flake. She, the texting can be a lot more direct because she already knows you. She knows you're not weird. She knows your vibe. It's gonna make the entire process a lot smoother. And that first date you go on is really like a second date because now I know the basics about her. I know who she is, where she's from, what she's doing with her life. So now when we get to that date, I can actually go deep and really explore and see if there's a real connection there. You've heard me say this before, but I truly mean it, that we are living in a very unique and special moment in time. Nobody, literally nobody, don't take my word for it, look at the stat, 55% of men haven't approached a woman in the last year. 45% of men aged 18 to 24 have never approached a woman in their life ever. That means if you can simply gain the balls and courage to go out there, Put yourself in front of the girl, initiate interaction, and know what to say and what to do in those interactions. You can get access to a pool of women that no other guy has access to. You can skip the back and forth texting tennis match that you'd have to go through on a dating app or on Instagram. And you can build yourself into a better, more capable, more confident man because putting yourself out there, taking rejection, taking risks, and improving on your interpersonal skills, all of this is stuff that's going to help you make more money, develop better relationships with your friends and family, and make you a more competitive candidate in the business world. At the end of the day, what we're working on here, what we're learning is a communication skill. We're learning how to empathize with people. We're learning how to read the room. We're learning how to communicate with people in a way where they feel like they're getting something out of it, where they feel like they want to meet us, where they want to follow up and meet us. And we're learning how to build these relationships out of thin air, out of scratch, which is why, especially if you're a guy who's interested in improving himself and becoming the best version that you can be and actualizing your highest self, I recommend integrating meeting women in person as a big part of your dating strategy. If you want to keep the dating apps, that's totally fine. If you want to keep Instagram, that's totally fine. All of these can work together. However, in person is the easiest way to go out and get results with women way above your league, way above your pay grade because there's virtually no competition. And because no guides are approaching anymore, they have no frame of reference to compare you to. So it's like fishing with dynamite. So if you want to take advantage of this opportunity and click the link in the description and check out my free video showing you the three-step formula for my exact strategy for initiating interactions, how to get over your approach anxiety, what to say in these interactions, how to follow up and turn these interactions into dates, and exactly how to take advantage of the unique opportunity and time we're living in where in-person is the new trend. Let's go meet some more girls by the beach. Thank you.